The federal rules of civil procedure mandate the joinder of parties to a lawsuit under certain conditions. But what if the mandatory joinder causes the court to lose jurisdiction? As explained in Haas v. Jefferson National Bank, the court must decide whether the suit can proceed or whether the missing party is so important that the case must be dismissed. William Haas, an Ohio resident, sued in federal court to force Jefferson National Bank, or the bank for short, a Florida resident, to issue him certain shares of its common stock. He alleged the following. He made an agreement with Charles Gluick, an Ohio resident, to jointly purchase the bank's stock, but with the shares held in Gluick's name. The bank knew that Haas had paid Gluick for his portion of the shares. When Gluick presented the certificates to the bank with instructions to reissue some of them to Haas, the bank refused to do so, because Gluick was indebted to the bank under a promissory note that required him to assign to the bank any property he owned that came into the bank's possession. The trial court directed Haas to amend his complaint to join Gluick as a party, and then granted the bank's motion to dismiss the amended complaint on the grounds of incomplete diversity. Haas appealed to the Fifth Circuit.